Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D5600 and Nikon D5100. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D5600 and the Nikon D5100 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of November 2016 and the 26th of April 2011. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5600. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5100. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D5600 and the Nikon D5100. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5600. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5100. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5600. I recently bought the Nikon D5600 to improve my photography skills. The 24.2 megapixel sensor provides sharp images, the touchscreen interface is easy to use, and SnapBridge makes file transfer seamless. However, the lack of image stabilization and autofocus motor are drawbacks. Overall, the pros outweigh the cons and I would recommend it to first-time DSLR buyers. I absolutely love the D5600 camera. It's lightweight, user-friendly, and has a great flip-out screen that makes it easy to capture shots from different angles. The picture quality is excellent and it's perfect for my travel photography and home business needs. Overall, I'm really pleased with this camera. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5100. The product arrived in perfect condition and matched the description exactly. Highly recommended. The Nikon D5100 is the perfect camera for experienced beginners like me. I compared it to the D7000 and found that the image quality is virtually the same, but the D5100 has been more reliable with no issues. It's lightweight, easy to use, and has plenty of features for both beginners and advanced users. I'd recommend buying the body only and investing in some high-quality lenses for the best results. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D5600. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D5100. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 